from a listener in Lexington, North Carolina. He writes, Why did Jesus quote the commandments to the ruler in Luke chapter 18, verses 8 through 23? I probably ought to turn and read Luke 18, 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one, that is, God. You see, he's making the young man face up to it. He's called the Lord Jesus good. And the Lord Jesus says, There's no one good but God. Therefore, if you see goodness in me, it's God. Actually, the Lord Jesus was the only good man that's been on this earth. And this young ruler saw that. Now, the Lord Jesus turned the commandments on him. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. He was a fine young man, you see. And now the Lord Jesus tells him the next step that he could take, and that, the important thing, was not for him to get rid of his material wealth, but to follow the Lord Jesus. And where would following him lead? It would lead eventually to the cross, of course. Now, let me go on with this here. According to Matthew 9, 13, he said, I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Is this why he dealt with these two men as he did? The Lord Jesus, when the Pharisees were there and the publicans, and you'll recall he gave the parable about two men went up to the temple to pray, and only the publican is the one that had to stand afar off. He was shut out. Now, this part, it says in Luke eighteen thirteen, we have the prayer of the publican. Could this be the same man spoken of in Luke 19, 1 and 10? Zacchaeus. I believe that. That's been my position now for many years. That the publican that stood afar off. In other words, what he's really saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. He's saying, make a mercy seat for me, a publican, a sinner to come to. And I think the Lord Jesus went to his house that night to tell him he was on the way to Jerusalem to make a mercy seat for him. Now, according to Matthew 9, 13, he said, I'm not come to call the righteous. Is this why he dealt with these two men as he did? And that's probably the reason that he did. I think you're quite accurate in that. That's a very good distinction you've made. As we close today's broadcast, we want to remind you that we have a number of helpful materials to assist you in your understanding of God's Word. Many of these items are available in our resource catalog, which you can receive just by calling 1-800-65-BIBLE anytime or shop online at ttb.org. For those of you who are interested, today's broadcast is available on CD. Contact one of our service operators for purchasing information. To reach them, you can call 1-800-652-4253, Monday through Thursday, from 6 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Be sure to join us this week as we continue Dr. McGee's five-year journey through the whole Word of God, book by book and chapter by chapter. If you'd like to be added to our mailing list for notes and outlines and our monthly newsletter, you may do so by calling 1-800-65-BIBLE, using our Internet order form, or downloading them from our website at ttb.org. You can always write to questions and answers as well. For those in the U.S., write to Box 7100, Pasadena, California, 91109. In Canada, you can write to Box 25325, London, Ontario, N6C, 6B1. This is Steve Schwetz for the Through the Bible Radio Network, praying that God will answer all your questions and solve all your problems.